Scott. I've been watching you for a while now. You're different. Now, don't let anyone tell you that you have nothing to offer. Second chances don't come around all that often. I suggest you take a really close look at it. First, that was just a cool suit. Uh, did, right? did, did you ask? Did you ask Kevin? Could you take it for a spin, go out with it, and wear the suit off, off campus anywhere? No, because I knew it would be a pointless question. There's no <laughs> way they're gonna let me even leave the set. They wouldn't even let me be seen in that thing. You know, they're very protective about that. But yeah. I agree with you in in that it's a it's a really cool suit. Yeah. There are there are more parts in this. There were over 40 parts just in the helmet alone, wow. and. Uh, the suit is actually more complex than any of the other Marvel character suits. It's yeah, wires. You can see it. Like, yeah. You can see that. You can it see lit it. up. There were uh, things it would do that you don't even see in the movie. This is your chance to earn that look in your daughter's eyes, to become the hero that she already thinks you are. So we, we're used to seeing you in comedies, and we love you and, and all the, the comedies you've, you've done so far, but this one is a lot of action, a lot of comedy. As an actor, how was that physically for you to, to really get into all these action scenes where it looks like you're like running around the whole time? It was awesome. I yeah. loved it. Yeah. I loved training for it. I was working with a, with like a gymnast. I was learning... I was learning parkour as much as like somebody like me can learn parkour. You can't, it's, it's a lifetime study. And But I had about a year where I was doing shoulder rolls and yeah. flips and that kind of thing. Um, and it was awesome. I loved the physical uh, training that I had to go through for the film. And then, then there was the whole motion capture stuff, which I'd never done before, where I'm surrounded by cameras and pretending to dodge a shoe and you know that kind of yeah, thing. Yeah. It was great. You usually don't have to do training for your comedy, so. Huh? No, I do no, <laughs> I do no training. <laughs> Almost, I no training at all for other comedy. It's not about saving our world. It's about saving theirs. Scott, I need you to be the end man. There's been several uh, shrinking movies. There's Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, Alice in Wonderland, uh, The Minions, a couple more. Now that you've done Ant-Man, can you tell me an advantage of being small? Well, when you're this small, one of the great advantages is that you're invisible. So you can kind of see anything and you can go anywhere, which uh, I think comes in handy. Yeah. Um, and uh, even though I am that small, I also have uh, kind of superhuman strength, which yeah. also comes in handy. Not to mention the whole talking to the ants thing, which, you know, yeah. when you kind of think of it in those terms, I mean, yeah. kind of got it all when you're Ant-Man. Yeah, you do. Everybody's been talking this week about, uh, you know, the Confederate flag, but I want to talk about Civil War and not okay. the Confederate flag. All Civil right. War. Are we are we gonna see Ant Man appear in, in, in Civil War? And yeah. can you give us any uh, tidbits to that? Well, the only thing I'll say is I actually just finished shooting uh, Civil War, and um, it was a crazy experience in a way that even shooting Ant-Man wasn't. Because as much as I loved Ant-Man and people were telling me, what does it feel like to be part of the Marvel Universe? And I said, cool. I was on my own. Yeah. All of a sudden, I'm on the set and I'm standing opposite Captain America. And then there's Iron Man and uh, not to mention a few others. Uh, it became real in a way that it wasn't even real on, on Ant-Man. And yeah. I turned into a 10 year old. It was the coolest thing. You was an actor, now you've turned into a superhero, so welcome to the new fanatics. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> thanks for a great performance. I love the movie. Hey, thanks a lot. I appreciate it. One question. Is it too late to change the name?